this is an amazing game changer and if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that I don't use any clickbait and don't make any hyperbolic statements but I really fell in love with this new tool which is called Cloud Dev. It's like a coding assistant similar to Ader, Continue, etc. But it has many cool capabilities and produces yields better performance than other solutions, at least based on my observation. And I wanted to share it with you guys today. Let me start out by showing you an example of what I was able to build. So it took me approximately 10 minutes to build this thing, which is um, a, a website, a web app that I want to launch, which is basically a web app to collect feedback for YouTube creators. So you can create a board, let's say video ideas. This is a board for video ideas, for video ideas. Then we create the board, we can do the board, then we can add ideas, autogen course and then we can upvote and also we can comment on this video this is a great idea and as you can see everything is functioning well you can also reply or like specific comments this is something that I'm going to keep on building and eventually I'm going to publish. Perhaps I will do a product hunt launch. It's going to be my first product hunt launch. Um, but yeah, very cool. It was very fast and almost no iterations. And I'm very happy about this. So let me show you how does Cloud Dev look like on Visual Studio Code. Basically, it's just a, a, an extension that you can easily download from Here from the extension store, Cloud Dev, write it down. It will find it. It's this guy, and you just come here and you download the extension or install the extension, and then you have it right down here. The next step you need to do is add your API keys, your Cloud API keys, and you're basically good to go. Let's cover the repo and what they claim about Cloud Dev. So. Here's a praising Cloud Sonnet, which we, we guys, you guys already know how powerful it is. So while autonomous AI scripts traditionally run in sandbox environments, Cloud Dev provides a human in the loop graphical user interface to supervise every file changed and command executed, providing a safe and accessible way to explore potential, the potential of agentic AI. So first of all, it can inspect diffs of every change that Cloud makes in the editor, and then it keeps tracks track of uh, anything. You can run CLI commands directly in the chat, so you don't need to open the terminal. I will show you everything in a moment. It obviously asks you for the approval of any change that it makes. It keeps track of total tokens and costs involved. And you can also set a, a maximum or a number of API requests. Let me show you an example. It might be better. So help me write a Python snake game. No, we can do a YouTube video testing a model without a, a Python snake game. So let's do, uh, yeah, I've been having this error. Let's see what exactly is this origin of the error. I think something is wrong with Anthropic. Anthropic, yeah, overloaded. I need to check what it means. What does, Temporarily overloaded, never mind. So perhaps I won't show you the example, but basically what you have here, you write something and then let's try it again. Then it, gave, it gives you a response and you see how what was the cost of the response, how many tokens were sent and how many tokens were received. And then you just handle a conversation with Claude right over here and you see the scripts are being written as you speak so it generates the file and it's able to read the files and afterwards when you want to make an adjustment you just tell it over here which adjustment you would like to to make and it makes the adjustments now this is so much cooler than going back and forth um, via cloud because and i've done that already uh, but the issue was that after a while 
the context becomes too long. So, and if you have a big project and you don't have just one flat file, so it starts getting things wrong. And this is where this tool shines because I was able to make uh, quite a few iterations on many different files and it almost, I, I don't recall any errors that it created, at least from my test, because it was able, always, it was able, it was always able to adjust all the rel related files. And the reason for that being is the capabilities of, or the way this repository is structured so it has a few um, tools, so execute commands, so it can execute CLI commands. It can list files top level, so basically list all paths for the files at the top level of the specified directory, which is useful for generic operations. It can list files recursively, so list all paths for a file in the specified directory and nested subdirectories. It can view source, uh, basically pass all source code files at the top level of the specified directory to extract names of key elements and you can obviously ask follow-up questions etc but the, the real cool stuff is what they write over here so first of all Claude first uses the uh, Claude Dev first uses the list file recursive tool to get a complete picture of the project file structure which is very useful because then it doesn't any change that it does it also makes the adjustments on other files next Claude may then use the view source code definitions top level tool on a specific directories of interest. This tool uses tree sitter to pass source code with custom tags queries that extract names of classes, functions, methods, and other definitions. definitions. So it works by first identifying source code file that the tree sitter uh, can pass. It, it uh, covers most relevant programming languages then it passes each file into an abstract syntax tree and finally applying a line okay this is just technical stuff but <laughs> let's move on to the interesting stuff i mean it's interesting but i don't want to bore you guys so this is basically the prompt and i find the prompt very interesting so let's See the prompt right here. Might take a while, so let's just open it for now. So this is the system I should. You are Claude Dev, a highly skilled software developer with extensive knowledge in many programming languages, framework, design patterns, and best practices. Now, the capabilities. You can read, analyze, and analyze code in various programming languages and can write clean, efficient, and well-documented code. You can debug complex issues and providing detailed explanations, offering architectural insights and design patterns. You have access to tools that let, let you execute CLI commands. And this, this is the most interesting part. You can use list files recursive tool to get an overview of a project structure, which can provide key insights into the project directory and file names. The list file tool is better suited for generic directories. You don't necessarily need to, uh, the nested structure of like the desktop. Now you can use view source code definitions tool to get an overview of source code definitions for all files at the top level of a specified direct directory. This can be particularly useful when you need to understand the broader context and relationship between parts of the code. And this is key because usually when you just go back and forth with Claude Sonnet, um, and your, again, when your project becomes larger, it kind of starts to lose the context and the relationship between files. And then when you update one file, uh, let's say you change um, a JavaScript file, it doesn't change the CSS, it doesn't change the routing, it makes a mess. So when I was testing with Claude Dev, it was able to update all the relevant files in all, all the tasks. Some rules. Um, these are the rules. I don't want to go over them because I don't want to make this too long, but I highly recommend that you check this out because this is a great system prompt. I mean, this is a great prompt. Um, they are not using XML, which is kind of the best practice lately, based on what I'm observing and what the Anthropic team is saying. But still, this is a very powerful prompt because based on my experience, 
CloudDev has been yielding great results. Let's see if it started working now, although I have zero expectations. Okay, never mind. I will probably upload a few more videos about this uh, amazing tool because I'm going to keep on playing around with it. I was just about to release uh, a longer video about how to build a web app, how to structure it in a way that you build each file step by step and how you structure the routing and you build a database without you know losing context and then this repository appeared this project and it kind of shifted my focus because it seems like it's able to solve this issue of having very long context and many files and not making a complete mess of the project but obviously this still remains to be seen we need to keep on testing and keep on um, stress testing this and seeing which result is going to yield anyway long story short highly recommend that you guys check out cloud dev it doesn't mean that i stopped using continue as a coding assistant as well if you guys are not using continue or either definitely check them out as well but i feel that cloud dev has i mean it seems like continue has more features but cloud dev produced better results for me and it was more like a seamless experience faster and um, but if you probably if you want to do more complex stuff continue or either might still be the way to go but so far so good very happy about cloud dev that's it for today guys if you have any questions obviously leave them in the comment section below if you enjoy this video or find it useful please subscribe if you haven't yet and until next time Keep on automating.